into bracket 119 read with honorable apex court's finding recorded by the honorable apex court in paragraph 157 of subhash desai supra makes it clear that the law laid down by the honorable supreme court is that in view of the deletion of paragraph 3 of the 10th schedule when rival factions emerge as a result of rift stroke split in the party the speaker has to necessarily find which faction is the real political party while recognizing leader and the whip of the party thus in view of the facts recorded in the preceding paragraphs and keeping in view the principles enumerated by the honorable supreme court in subhash desai supra as recorded in paragraph 84 year in above i have come to the following conclusion that the emergence of the two factions of shiv sena can be inferred from 21st june 2022 itself and the same came to be a matter of official record of the office of the speaker and or the legislature secretariat on 22nd june 2022 conclusion <coughs> having decided the one relevant constitution of shiv sena two leadership structure and three the relevant point of the per the relevant point for the purpose of determining the preliminary issue i have made the following analysis observations and determinations on the preliminary issue of which faction was the real political party when two factions emerged for the purpose of analyzing discussing and determining the issue the faction of the petitioner is here and after referred to as ubt faction and likewise the respondent's faction is referred to as the Shinde faction. The, applicab the applicability of the test of aims and objectives. <coughs> I am not going into the details of reading the applicability of the test of aims and objectives because as you are aware that in accordance with the directions of the apex court and otherwise the speaker is not required to get into the political thicket with regards to the aims and objectives of a political party. So I am restricting it to uh, pronouncement and you can have a look at it once you apply for the certified copy. The reason why Shiv Sena constitution assumes significance is to analyze whether the question of which faction is the real political party is discernible from the leadership structure identifiable from the said Shiv Sena constitution. So the Shiv Sena constitution is relevant to the extent of identifying the leadership structure. Leadership structure as a criteria to determine who was the real political party. As I have already held, which is the relevant constitution and the leadership structure of the Shiv Sena to be taken into account for deciding the preliminary issue, I now have to see whether the relevant leadership structure read with the SS constitution provides answers to the question which faction is the real political party and consequently determine the same.